Good evening. Hey, Sue. Oh, she says she's got me on the big screen. Uh oh. Ah, uh, you can see the bags under my eyes then. <laughs> uh, how are you all? It has been a busy weekend here. Um, we are getting ready for having new carpets laid tomorrow. So it's been all systems go. Um, we haven't quite um, got everything done that we thought thought we might but stuff can be finished after the carpets come in now at this point um it's i'm done <laughs> uh it um yeah it's been busy busy so um i've been doing a different kind of crafting today i've um, managed to get most of the paint off my hands and arms get it all up your arms don't you as well um so i wasn't sure if i was going to get on tonight um, only because, as I say, it has been busy, busy. Um, we've been, what have I done today? I don't know. I've painted lots of skirting boards and door frames and cleaned a lot of, um, we've emptied um, my son's room out, um, collapsed his bed down, um, moved everything out to then wipe down all the, skirting and repaint all of that and start to fill the room uh with all the holes that were there um <clears throat> and um we've been doing our bedroom at the same time so yeah it's just been busy busy so carpets come tomorrow and then we'll finish the rest um next weekend <laughs> that's quite all right um Tilly says she can't spell him, and that's all right. You're fine. Good evening. Um, hello, everyone. Um, so I have the new Layers of Beauty stamp set coming in the new catalogue. So this one is on page 57 of the new annual catalogue. Oh, that's the back. So it's page 57 of the new annual catalogue. Um, this catalogue goes live 1st of May. So if you would like one of these catalogues um, and you don't have a demonstrator that is sending it to you, um, then reach out and I will happily pop one in the post to you. Um, if you've purchased with me in the last six months, then one will be coming your way anyway. Um, so I have you on my list for sending to. So who is here? Danette is in Mexico, not long till we trade places. It's a shame we're not there at the same time. We could have caught up. Wouldn't that have been lovely? Um, so I am on countdown to um, heading to Mexico or at the end of the month, which has come around super fast. So just what I need to be doing right now is redecorating the entire of my upstairs of my house. Um, not really. <laughs> Um, good evening, Wendy. Good evening, Joanna. Sue says it's in her pre-order. Jill, I have been a busy girl, along with my husband and my dad, who has been around helping as well. Um, and Joshua was running up and down doing little jobs today as well. So he was he was helping out too um, today. Uh, so, right, let's have a play with these masks. So, uh, this stamp set comes with dyes and masks. The bundle um, is similar to the Enduring Beauty that is in um, the mini, in the fact that it's got dyes, stamps, and um, mask. Let's see if I can get that on there without light so we've got the masks uh so you get five masks in the bundle and they're numbered one to five you have the dies uh which has got the large outline um, So the image is slightly bigger 
than on the um, front of the case. Is that that way around? Can't tell. That way around. There we go. Um, so that'll outline that. And then you've got outlines of... What else have you got? Outlines of that little flower and that little leaf there. And then you've got extra leaves and then this cute little stitched tags uh as well and then this one i'm going to i haven't played with this very much but i'm going to assume there we go that that cuts just that flower out from the bunch and you also have the one that will I cut that one as well. So really nice. You've got, as I say, the whole the whole piece or the individual flower. Um, and of course, you could fussy cut any of those bits as well. And let's have a little look. Evening from the Netherlands. Uh, oh. Let's not lose that die. <clears throat> I have got my Stamparatus out just um, because I find it easier. So if you've got a stamping platform and if not, you will need um, the larger block. So the flower is... You'll need the what blocks that the E F block. So you'll need that for the size of the flower. So you need the large um, oh the large block. All my blocks are tidied away, which means they're stacked up on top of each other. <laughs> which is good, but it also means avalanche if I end up moving those. Right, let's stamp and then we can do some masking. Where would be I know where indeed would we be without fussy cutting, Carol? Where indeed? So let's um, see if that will sit. My lights keep catching. Meh. Oh well, is what it is. There we go. Let's stamp this. So we're going to do memento. I've got that beautiful flower. Hey, Kathleen. How are you doing? Good, I hope. Right, and then we're going to use the mask. I haven't decided on colours, so um, choices, choices. Let's see. So we've got mask number one. Now I have just washed these. But um, so I'll just check they're not wet. But that will line up over those images there. Oh. Paul says very best. I mean, you know, I could be tempted, Paul. <laughs> You wouldn't have to persuade me um, very much. Um, Susan, so I've got, got you on the big screen. Uh-oh. Um, Kathleen, trying to accomplish everything I didn't this past week while off from school. Tomorrow is a reality check. Oh, back to, back to work, back to school. Oh. Um, right, let's... Uh, Let's go. Tonight says new in colour. I like that. What about? What about? 
a bit of a mix. Let's do bubble bath with maybe a little bit of petunia pop. So kind of almost bubble bath, uh, almost berry burst. So bubble bath. So we'll do the bottom layer bubble bath. Pretty. I tend not to bother taping the mask down because I'm a bit lazy. Um, look, it's already got some pretty colour. So that is bubble bath. And then <coughs> Petunia Pop. So this is one of the new in colours coming. Um, very pretty. So we've got then mask number two uh which is gonna be that one let's just see so i'm gonna look at these pieces these pieces up here this piece um, they've got notches on, so what you can do is if you tape your piece down, you can put a little like thing there, and so each one will then line into that notch, if that helps you line up um, your masks. Um, just as a bit of a tip. Oh, this is nice. It's got juicy, juicy because it's a new pad. My goodness. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. So pretty. So that's number two. And then let's do the very first. It's darker than Petunia. Because we have mask number three, which is, have I got that the right way around? I think I have. There. Yeah. I think we're good there, maybe. Oh, those holes. That's what I need to be lining up. Holes, the flowers. So the centre of the flowers is what to look for on those. It's just getting familiar, isn't it, um, with the way the masks line up. So I don't want the centre of my flowers to be very burst, actually. Could do, I suppose. Um. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to just grab my yellow and my crushed curry and that'll be very easy then just to do a little dot of yellow through there so have those so far doesn't that look gorgeous <laughs> it says oh, on the list <laughs> they are i love these masks i love them i love them with the enduring beauty and i love them with this and whilst you might think well i've got enduring beauty i mean like you they're both gorgeous hey bianca how are you um right green we need some leaves so we've got two masks for the leaves one again more of the outline space so 
that will sit there. Let's do, well, we've got a choice. We could do in colour. So we could do Shy Shamrock, um, which is a new in colour. Go Shy Shamrock. <coughs> so to do this, we're going to do... The shy shamrock over those, not completely saturating the leaves, um, and then we're going to use the same colour to add more. So this is then mask number five, and so we'll come back in over there. And we'll just go straight. I'm not going to take any colour off that. I'm going to just add that straight on so that you've got the darker colour over the top. There we go. Stunning. I know, Jeanette, it wasn't on her list because you have Enduring Beauty, but now it might have to fall in your cart. I know. It is stunning. Um, and would be gorgeous with or without the outline actually and without the outline you would have more of a um, embroidered maybe look i suppose um but yeah that's so that's bubble bath petunia pop and then um berry burst and the mask enables you to put the middles so that is your colour combo. I'm going to close to the camera for you. But um, there you go. So you've got Bubble, Petunia, Berry Burst, Shy Shamrock for the green, and then Crushed Curry. Um, <clears throat> what I would say with these masks, um, whilst you can wipe them with a chamois, um, or what have you, um, you will be wanting to be really careful of not catching these parts of your mask. Um, I would strongly suggest that you just run them under the tap. The cold water will just run the ink off and then you can gently pat it with um, a clean towel or some paper towel, whatever's your preference. But um, if they're completely clean, then uh, a washable um, towel will be fine um, <clears throat> and that way you don't you don't um, run the risk of lifting those less of a problem on sort of some of the wider like these ones less of a problem because there's not much not so much to catch but there is the middle part of like the flower here and that could easily catch um, with you rubbing and things like that so I would say just I'll say Run, run them under the tap um, to wash them off. <coughs> Let me just pop them to one side. Um, ah, hey Judy, how are you? Good, I hope. Right, let's put... Should we put this through and die cut it? Just to show you. So... That is going to die cut. Which way round is that going to be? Mm, that way. So you're going to have that. We'll sit around. I'm going to just put a little bit of tape on there. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, good evening, Karen. Let me just take that in place. We'd hate to have that wiggle as we run that through. Um, it's going to obviously have to go through the larger machine. It's not going to fit through the um, mini. <coughs> but just with one pass, you're going to get this stunning... Um, flower 
popped out. So there we go. Which means we can now pop that onto maybe some darker card. Let's grab our petunia. Oh, oh, new petunia. So that is petunia pop. And uh, what about? Oh, that's ink on there. Mm, okay. Bring in some berry burst. Ah, oh. oh, hi, Colleen. Uh, watching from Canada. Let's. Should we go dark in the middle or dark round the edge? Mm, I'm thinking middle. Just to add a bit of shading. Coming out. So this is berry burst onto petunia. But can you see that you will end up with a bit of shading behind there? We'll just keep starting in the middle. Leave some of the light edges. There we go. So that's going to give that some depth. <coughs> and then now we could take this little flower and see if we can add a little bit of something with this. So. I think again. Uh, so, oh, nothing new today. I've had all sorts of colours all over my hands. Paint. Right, let's see. Just to give, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna see this a great deal, but it just gives a little bit of interest behind with this small flower so I'm just lining it up um if I bring you in a bit closer can you see I don't know if you can see the stamping on the background um but just sort of decide where we want that peeking out oh we can have those on the background there. Just give some extra flowers. And um, the sentiments in this is happy anniversary, grateful for you, God bless, and you make my heart smile. Um, so I think I'm going to go uh, You Make My Heart Smile just because it's a nice long sentiment. It's that sort of size. And we can go with maybe some I normally pull out my white embossing, but I'm wondering if um, I'll do both. But I'm thinking black words would be nice, but I will do both. So I'm going to do the Bursa mark. Make my heart smile. So that's on Petunia cardstock. <clears throat> mm. So 
going to pop. So heat that up. So heat gun. <coughs> and uh, melt that embossing powder. bring my um it does i was gonna try it in white but i really like it i'm gonna stick with that joanna i'm gonna stick with the black and I, as i say i so often reach for my white embossing powder but i really like that in the black just shiny really makes it glossy and picks out the sort of black outline of the flowers maybe just somewhere down there i think we did something similar to this last week didn't we where we put a sentiment straight across i cannot remember what cards are made last week well actually it was this week wasn't it it was tuesday i didn't go live on on sunday because it was easter sunday um i ended up going live on Tuesday evening, which is a little random. Uh, but I need to go back and look and see what I made. Something Delft and something else. Pink flowers, but I can't think what I did with the sentiment. All right. Let's go in across there. Now this just gonna simply sit straight across. Let's trim that with our snips. And glue. So two of the new ink colours on there. So fresh. Love that. Let me see if I can pull out some of my, where are they? I've got some new gems floating around. I'm going to open them up, I think. We've got in colour, we've got uh, resin dot, and we've got shiny. <coughs> we've got shiny ones, or we've got matte. Um... that ones which do you prefer shiny or not shiny which do you like the look of <coughs> let me see if i can pull in some ribbon Oh, shiny. What's that? Um, is that from Maui? No. I think it is. When they go down that cave, that song. <laughs> I won't burst into tune, but I won't, I, won't, I won't subject you to it. But we're uh, drawn to shiny. Right, let's do uh, a few of these petunia and these must be these are pretty in pink summer splash shy shamrock and peach pie um which is nice i'm wondering if we could get maybe too much too heavy but i'm wondering if we can get a a slimmer bow perhaps with some of this petunia ribbon yes the crab thing yes joanna i'm glad you're not thinking that i'm going mad <laughs> it's a bit of a strange part of the movie but um yeah the, the song makes me chuckle uh, all right let's uh, 
Đó. Come on, ribbon. Very nicely. I don't need any more cuts on my hands today. I am. Um, <clears throat> I was cleaning down the skirting boards in my son's room, and um, the gripper rods for the carpet were exposed. And I managed to. My knuckles made friends with the gripper rods, which was rather, rather painful. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to even use this because um, it might be all right without it, but I've just done a little bit of thin edge of the ribbon. No, to ribbon or to not ribbon, what do you reckon? I'll pop it under there and you can see. We could ribbon, couldn't we? We could ribbon. Quite like it. Let's see. Uh, put that dot over there. And then we can put a little miniature. Uh, uh, dimensional is the word I'm looking for on the edge just to hold that down as we've now ribboned and I can sit under there there we go kind of nice, gives it a bit of texture doesn't it but the whole ribbon would have been too much, I think. Like, it would have been... Um, too heavy. But it's nice that that just sort of splits out into texture. So there we go. Um, we'll use the petunia, the other half of that cardstock. So I've just cut, as I said, yeah, I cut, you would get a second one down the edge of that as well. Or you could fray that um, ribbon and have like tassely bits, thin bits of the ribbon to use as well. And then that would leave you with a frayed, a frayed piece of ribbon to maybe put as an edge under a sentiment or something like that. I love this size ribbon. I think it's um, lovely. But yeah, I know what you mean. The one eighth is the, is that the metallic one, shall they? That's a very skinny one, isn't it? I like that. Right. Let's put that on to here. Some glue. And then... We do one. Uh, without the masks. The masks are awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that metallic one's staying. So it wasn't online and it's in the catalogue. And it's um it's hanging around. So yeah, I like it. I like metallics most times of the year, but I do like metallic ribbons for my seasonal Christmas cards. All right, we'll stop faffing with that ribbon. There we go. You make my heart smile. A few sparkles, a bit of ribbon, and those beautiful masks. Let's do... <coughs> Let's grab a bit of watercolour. I'll grab some um, of the Fluid 100 and I'll just grab a whole sheet for the minute. 
and let's see. Um, let's see what it looks. Uh, let's give it a the embossing body. Oh, yeah, gorgeous grape would look fabulous too, wouldn't it? Let's see. So we'll verse mark that. Uh, see, and I wonder how my verse marked grubby. I didn't clean that stamp and I've just got to st stuck the verse mark right over it. Oh, right, let me try again. Goodness me, I've got a double jump image. Completely my own fault for rushing. Right, let me try it again. Michelle says she is scheduling cards post file. Oh, you are good. You are good. Let me stand up. That's good. And also it was grubby, so you can see. <laughs> you can see. Uh the mark i'm gonna i'm gonna emboss again i'm gonna emboss in black just um for a change don't normally emboss in black i normally emboss in white but i thought it would be a bit of a change you need to make sure you use your embossing body when you emboss in black otherwise you end up with speckles all over the place um oh shaz you're not going to regret it she's glad i've ordered this set it's, um yeah i've made a couple with it um i'm planning on my swaps for when i go away to mexico um using this set uh, so and right it's out on my desk but yeah very glad i got it <laughs> heat this up there make sure it all goes shiny we don't want any missing bits okay. oh yeah the basic base is going to be perfect for no lime water coloring um definitely more beige and more creamy than um so sahara sand had a bit of a gray tone to it i think um, whereas the beige is definitely more beige, which is nice. Um, right, let me <coughs> pick out some colours. So I thought, as I was heating that, I'm thinking, what color, what colours are we going to do? So my thought is that we'll colour it in exactly the same colours that we've just used for the masks so that you can see the difference then between the masks and the um, uh, watercolouring. So you've got a difference between the two. I'm just being very good and I'm putting my um, uh, blending brushes away so that I don't put my hand on them. Right, let me get a water painter out. 
and my chamois. Sometimes if my water brush has caught, it's probably not the best way to treat my brushes. <laughs> but can you see? Can you see that sticking out? Sometimes I try and persuade it to go back, and other times oh, I just give it a haircut. It drives me they drive me mad. So I just trim, I just trim them off. <laughs> probably people thinking that's not the way to treat your brushes, Emma. Um but you know if it works it works right <coughs> bubble bath for the base and then uh let's grab bubble bath bubble bath the inca let's put one or two drops um, I try not to overfill the tray with any ink refills because um, then it kind of splodges out the tray and all that kind of stuff. It just gets a bit messy. So I try and keep it with what I'm going to use rather than overfilling it with ink. Right, can we see okay? Just pull you in a bit closer. So this is bubble bath. And we've got bubble bath going on as the base layer. And just add that. each of the flowers and then next up we had uh, petunia didn't we so i don't have the ink refill for the petunia uh but um, I've just squidged some of it into the, well, that's not, that's not too bad. Actually. It's much trickier to do with the newer pads to squidge it onto the background. Um, if you find that a bit tough, then you can just take a block and tap the block into the ink and then paint off the block. Um, This is then the petunia. Going on to the top of the bubble bath. Um. Uh, we'll just get a bit more water on our brush and bring in a touch more Virginia. like that uh, <clears throat> a little bit on the Flowers up here and down here, and then we can bring in um, the berry burst for the third color. Now, I do have lots of berry burst. Here's me saying I try not to put too much color in my tray and open up the horror that is my berry burst <laughs> ink pad. Um, but um, 
Yeah. I use it a lot. So we're just going to go into the center and not over, we don't want to over cover too much of the flower in the berry because it's such a strong color it will really overwhelm um the flower <laughs> look at the state of it brian it's horrendous it needs a good wash it needs a bath <laughs> it needs a bubble bath is what it needs mm -hmm. uh, it needs a lesson from the bubble bath ink pad and that is a much more respectable state. Right. Let's do <coughs> some colour there. And where it's really intense colour in the ink pad there, you can just do small dots of it and it will just where it's still a bit wet. Pull. I don't have to go back over each of the bits. Go slightly outside the lines. That's fine. Uh, I'll use the chamois to clean off the brush. And then if you want like here some of this isn't kind of not pulled very much so i could just bring a little bit more plain water back into some of those but just being careful not to oversaturate okay uh, at this point, I'm going to give it a blast with the heat gun only because I don't want any of the green to run into the pinks. Although like where that's wet here, the leaves are far enough away, probably um, not to catch it. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'll just give that a little blast. <laughs> The chamois, if it's clean enough, um, can also take up some of that water if you want it to. It will also take up the ink, so just be aware of that. So shy shamrock, again, you can try and squeeze the ink pad. Um, <clears throat> it is hard going to get that on there. So if you struggle, just tap your block and then you can paint off your block. Um, that would be my <coughs> suggestion if you don't have the ink refills. Uh, I have to say when the catalogue goes live on the 1st of May that will be my first purchase I always like to get the ink refills with the pads um, a so I can use it for painting and B just so I can keep my pads nice and um, juicy and filled up Uh, going shy shamrock just around the leaves and then um, we can get a little bit more of that solid 
intense colour and come back in if we want some of that shading. Or you can leave it lighter. So that's the beauty of the watercolouring is that you can build the colours on top of one another. Um, and then we'll just give this a little blast with the heat gun as well because what I don't want to do is run this through um, the cut. I don't want to put it through the cut and emboss um, with wet because it will lift onto the cutting plate. Um, so, ah, <clears throat> oh, thank you, Judy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, right, let's heat this up. my die which is here uh, that way around. and then we can die cut this out the same as we did for the last one and let me run that through Should we put this one onto a shy shamrock base? Let's see if this looks. Do the other. So. Oh, nice on the green. So let's grab. Sorry about coughing. I think dust I've got. A bit of, um, my throat keeps catching. I've got an orange squash on my desk. Um, I'm desperately trying not to cough because I know it must be annoying. Apologies. Do the same. So we'll add the um, dark. Stacey says, "Love the water and color, water coloring." And Charles says, "I think I prefer this one." It gives it a different look, doesn't it? So. So we've got the darker green coming from behind and I'm just going to take the large put that onto a block this greenery around the edges back over there and let's 
pull out the ribbon. Now this is um, bordered ribbon, one centimetre or three eighths of an inch, and um, you get 9.1 metres or 10 yards, whichever you work in. Um, and this is the Shy Shamrock ribbon. And I'll go full. We won't cut this ribbon um, like we did with the petunia. My bed's gone upside down, so I just turn that around. <laughs> uh, over to that side. Further down. Be faffing with the bow. That green looks weird on the camera compared to. I promise it looks perfectly coordinated in front of me hopefully it looks the blending looked a bit of a different color actually on the screen There's a little tag and we've got as i say grateful for your bless you make my heart smile maybe i'll just go same sentiment uh go just memento do you know what i do like that but i want i i, I think i want to make it a happy birthday i'm going to pull in this one which I keep reaching for, which is also a new one. Um, it's called Simply Said. So this is also not available. Available for demo pre-order, available 1st of May. But there's some brilliant sentiments in this one. And um, the happy birthday is a great size. And the let's celebrate as well. And I'm going to... Do birthday. So I'm going memento black on white. Oh, thanks, Kanka. Let's trim this down. Happy birthday. Uh, that puts on some dimensionals. Ah, oh, good morning, lovely Kayla. Um, playing with new stuff. <laughs> this one we have watercolored. Use up those edges of our dimensionals. And I'm going to hook that in there. And we can then put our happy birthday. Those little bits there. It's a bit big. And um, 
there maybe there might sit slightly over that I'm going to make that bow slightly smaller it's a bit too big I like bow but it's a bit too big let's uh, trim those and then bring in the sparkles again oh this is going to have to go in your cart Kayla <laughs> without a doubt uh 100% is going to have to go in your cart. Uh, right. Let's put this onto our face. And we shall pop that onto our Shy Shamrock card base. And then I'll show you the other one that we made. If you missed it at the beginning. Maybe have a few splatters on here. I can't resist. I wonder if we need a bit of a wink of Stella. Can't always see it up on camera, but you know it's there. Right. There you go. That is your shy shamrock. And then the petunia pop. Now, which do you prefer? Do you like the masks or the water coloring? So let me move that out of the way. So the first one was using the mask. And the second one was the same colours, but watercoloured. So um, this one was all the layers of the mask, which I think gives a really lovely um, fabric pattern kind of look to it. I really love the definition that the mask gives. It's like it's been printed, um, whereas obviously the watercolour is more flowy. Um, and so I've got torn ribbon and then the um, solid ribbon on that one and that's the shy um shamrock ribbon but ties beautifully uh it's a big gorgeous flower and yeah just fresh colors aren't they gorgeous can't wait to be using those lots more um <clears throat> oh thank you um let me see if i can get myself back onto camera for a minute maybe i'm there i think just about <laughs> um there we go so thank you for joining me it's been um lots of fun i love creating with flowers i absolutely love creating with flowers um if i'm ever stuck for inspiration I will just pull out a flower stamp set because um, I um, thoroughly enjoy using them. Um, but it is good to get out of my comfort zone sometimes and use things that are not floral. Um, so but I hope you've enjoyed those. Um, I'll take some proper pictures of them um, and share them with you uh, throughout the week. Uh, Wendy says both, but the mask one is gorgeous. Oh, I do love my flowers. <laughs> Um, thank you for joining me uh, as always um, and thank you for commenting along whether you're here live or on the replay I really do appreciate you all being here with me um, and I will catch you all next week take care for now bye